There's two forms of analogue radio modulation used in Australia. Amplitude modulation, where the amplitude of the radio wave is modulated, and frequency, where the amplitude stays constant, but the frequency changes. So we are looking at frequency modulation. First up, what is frequency modulation? Here is a sound wave. Frequency modulation changes the frequency, modulates the frequency depending on the volume of the sound. So up there, radio waves are close together. Down here, I'm exaggerating, the radio waves are far apart. Up here, the radio waves are really close together. Then they're gradually getting longer. Just fill in the gaps here. So what we have, we have got a maximum amplitude at all times and the frequency at any instant of that radio wave tells your clock radio or the FM radio what noise level to play. Is it quiet or it's loud? And you can recreate the rate, you can recreate the sound wave by modulating the frequency. FM is not as susceptible to electromagnetic interference as AM. Because if I had a sudden AM a spike, a massive surge of energy, it has not affected the frequency. So FM is more immune to electromagnetic spikes and electromagnetic interference than AM. That's why it's more used to broadcast music, one of the reasons. The other one is it's able to be broadcast in stereo. So FM works by modulating the frequency, by changing the frequency, which means it broadcasts over a range of frequencies and you've got to have your radio station tuning to a range. You've probably noticed that in Sydney, our radio stations are 0.8 megahertz apart. That's because this 102.5 is broadcasting on a range of frequencies. 101.7 is broadcasting on a range of frequencies. The licensing requirements say that every Australian FM radio station has got a bandwidth of 100 kilohertz down, 100 kilohertz up. So 101.7 can broadcast between 101.6 and 101.8 megahertz only. But it is to operate on 150 kilohertz bandwidth which means that might be 101.7, here's 102.5 in Sydney. Then of course Blue Mountains have got a radio station, that might be 102.3, that might be the Blue Mountains, so they can transmit and they don't interfere with the Sydney one. Wollongong might transmit there, 102.1, across that range of frequencies. That might be Newcastle. So there is a range of frequencies licensed in Australia. Every single radio station is 0.2 megahertz apart and they are legally required not to interfere with each other. So if you are broadcasting at 101.9 megahertz, you go between 101.8 and 102.0. That is all you can transmit in so you don't interfere. That's why Sydney radio stations are 0.8 megahertz apart. Plenty of space between each other, so there is absolutely no interference. And so things like Wollongong can transmit here on 104.5. Newcastle can transmit on 104.3. And basically they don't interfere. FM, key point, as the sound goes down, the frequency gets lower. Sound goes up, the frequency gets higher, but it's limited to a very narrow range. That's the basics of frequency modulation.